presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grand baby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> you just sent, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. September 15th, man. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to rewrite. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 129, Nasdaq's off 150, S&P's down 41, gold. Gold contract trading down 35.80 cents at 16.73 an ounce. We got silver down 39 cents, 19 dollars 17 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 361, 84 dollars 87 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note right now, trading down 14 ticks at yearly highs. The 10-year is yielding, folks, 3.453. The 30 down 17 at 134.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar just won't back down. Up 66 ticks, trading 109, 726. The euro is at 99. The yen's at 143. And the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, if we take a look at the SPY first, you're going to see that the SPY is approaching, excuse me, a potential B point of an ABC structure down. Uh, bottom line, I don't think we're going to head it out here today. Uh, that B point is 388.42. We hit 390. You'd need 76 million shares. It's intriguing. So on the SPY, you can see we're at 60. So the SPY actually has light volume as we're coming down, you know, because it, it, let, let's picture that if we were right next to the B point right now, I don't see the SPY doing 16 million shares today. That's the bottom line. So the SPY, you pull them back. Now you got to remember something that option expiration is tomorrow. And the expiration tomorrow is a monster. It's a $3.2 trillion expiration. And on top of that, what you have is that the option market makers were on the wrong side of this, folks. What they had to end up doing, that's why you saw the, the acceleration uh, on the way down, because they, bottom line, they had to buy stock hand of a fist because of the fact that uh, to get Delta neutral again, because the move was so extraordinary on the way down uh, on Monday, on Tuesday, rather. So, NDX 100, different ballgame. NDX 100, bottom line, you broke the B point out here. The B point is a 290.87. We went to 290.60. You need a uh, volume out here, 57 million, you already get 47, you know? So I suspect we're gonna get 10 million. If we don't, it'll be interesting. It, it really will be interesting. Notes and bonds. Let's go to the note and bond market because what you have here, this is accelerating and accelerating very quickly. Um, and, you know, we know ABC structures are straight, the A to B and the C to D is straight line moves. We broke the B point. We did that on Monday. Bottom line, you get the acceleration. It still continues into lower price. And this one here, let me get this one. Let's see. It's one, almost 121. Yeah, it's like six, six bucks. I'm ballparking this. But that, that's amazing, man. That brings it to 100. That's where this thing is going, man. That's how that's set up. If we go into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar index. What you have with the dollar out here, the bottom line, is that this is not backing off. You know, you had that wide price spread on Monday. Um, you're laying right there. So the, the longer that we stay over the price point, the first high, the first high uh, was the 102. 
109 rather, 294. The higher the probability is that you will actually get up into that 121 area. Now let's go take a look at the oil market. So the, what's happening with the oil market, as is everything, they're basically selling this down. Why? Because you get interest rates higher, you get the dollar higher, um, you know, and what you have here, now this is anemic bounce inside the oil market. Let's pull this up because, I accept it. Look at that, though. See, this is interesting. So you get a sell down here, but this is telling me the oil is going to go back topside again. So the volume characteristic inside this sell today is, is light beyond belief, folks, uh, inside the oil market. So that's, that's telling me that, guess what, this thing, you know, is probably going to. So, so let's just go back for about a week. The first low that we made, we made it on at 81.50. That volume there was uh, 381 million. Then you tested it with 340 million. Now what we're doing, you're backing into, you're backing into 305,000 as well as the 381,000. There's not a lot of sellers there, man. There's not a lot of sellers. So, you know that that basically, you know, we'll see whether you can get a rejection of lower price. Uh, but you certainly don't have the type of sellers that are in there in that oil contract in order to basically sustain lower price. Some of the higher volume, we just broke out, broke out down the lows, folks. So yeah, let's go back to the NQs because this ABC wants structure right now. If we take a look at this, you're at 290.46. I forget what it is, 290 something. It already broke it once, but if it closes underneath it, it's going to be actually more positive. 290. 87, the idea 290.46. Because you gotta remember something, in option expiration also, you're gonna have monster volume. And what I've learned over the course of years is that the bottom line, no matter which way that volume's going, guess what? Even an option, option expiration, that's where the market wants to go. You have Apple uh, down 345, uh, you get, uh, let's see. Amazon's off $2.13, we get uh, Snap up 37 cents. Uh, Adobe, that's taking a hit, man. Let's go look at Adobe. Oh, but Adobe's down $62, uh, and you're trading at three oh eight, and I suspect this has gone down. Yeah, here we go, man. Look at this. This is this is this is quite a hit. Wow, man. Look at this hit. You're talking about you're talking about a fifty, almost a sixty percent hit. Man, also, you know what you're talking? Look at this, folks. You want to see something crazy, man? This is going after a high volume low at 255 from the March COVID start. This is, this, this is, this is, this, this chart is so classic, it is blowing my mind, man. And what you can get out of this chart is this. Number one, you can get out of the chart that, yeah, you, you know, you can go higher with lighter volume, man, but keep an eye on where the volume is, man, because who would ever think that you get, you get Adobe, who's making money hand over fist, can go from $700, $699, and now you get another eight. Yeah, this is good one after that high volume low, man. Wow, that is a trip. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 198. NASDAQ's off 244. S&P's off 52. We'll come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 213. You get the NASDAQ off 200. S&Ps are off uh, 54. Now, let's go for the SPY because there's no doubt, uh, as I said, you know, the bottom line is that we basically were, we were a point and a half away from the B point plus the volume. Uh, but guess what? When you start seeing this thing go south, doesn't, let's see, 20 minutes, no, 40 minutes, three, you still need another... Uh, well, hey, let me do this intraday. That's what we'll do. Let's do that intraday. So intraday, just to make sure. Oh, look at this. It's not. A, it's not a confirmed. It's not an ABC down because your bounce today was too big. Oh no, no, here's a small one. Is that a? That's volume of 1.5. No, it's not a small one either. All right, we'll see where this thing's gonna go, man. Um, you know, coming into option expiration, it, it's it's quite a trip. There's no doubt about that. Let's go into the GDX and take a look at what's happening with these gold stocks. So gold's been holding up until it didn't. Bang. Goes down. Doesn't ABC down. Uh, GDX right now is going after its swing low. Now, the swing low in GDX had 33 million. You get 24 right now. The price project or price is 22.97. You made it to 23.52. Kind of dangerous, actually. Because coming into uh, option expiration in itself, you're going to see a huge amount of volume and volatility, folks. So if we go to the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here. You have uh, Microsoft putting negative 49, Salesforce 35, Home Depot 35, and Visa 30. Putting juice, juice into it. United Health 88, Goldman 23. Uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, 10. Let's go to J.P. Morgan. Let me just look at this thing. Because when you take a look at these spreads, yeah, see, the banks are going to make a fortune, man. Because this, the spreads, folks, okay, when you, ha well, all, most of our tigers and tigresses like volatility, too, because the, when you have high volatility, your probability of, um, you know, doing well goes up dramatically. Now, I, you know, once you understand what volatility is, meaning you don't, you can't, you can't be a bull and just think you can buy something and it's going to go up. Vol volatility, folks, what happens is it's, when you have volatility, if you pay attention to your fib structure, you know, you can basically, what I, I'll tell you what I do first, and then you can figure out what you want to do. So if you have volatility, 
and you think you have a down market, what you should be doing is every bounce you're selling into, if you know, when I say bounce, what I'm talking about specifically was a point three eight two five oh six one eight. When they have come, when it's backing down, you can't just sit there and think you're going to get another thirty or forty points. That's that's the reality. What what you're doing is you're basically looking every day. You know that when you get movements in the S and P, well, let's, when you get movements in the S and P like we got today, all right. A bottom line is that you know yes, you can be long and you can be shot, and you're putting stops in, and you know it's, it's going to be pretty intense. Now. That being said, whatever way that you think the market's going, meaning up or down, that is the way that 90% of your trade should be done. You know, that's, that's what it comes down to because what happens is that in a bear market, all surprises are to the downside. That's how this works out. Now, looking at this market right now, this is, this is dangerous. You know, I was, I was talking about the market yesterday and the aspect building cause, right? Well, what we have here is that the bottom line is that, yeah, you, you went one day and, you know, we'll see what happens in this option expiration. You know, so on the, on the longer basis, if in fact tomorrow we bang through this, you do the ABC, if you do the ABC in one day, which you very well could on the way down, then you might have some action then, you know, because you're going you're gonna to have a type of flushing out um, in the marketplace particularly when you have two of these in a row. You know, if we go over and we take a look at the trend, the trend right now is running at 0.76, which is not bad, okay? Um, the bottom line is that, you know, that, that's it's not bad. That's the bottom line. Your tick index, we hit, uh, let's see, we hit after the, always remember that the tick index, you do not use the opening bar. So the tick index, that's a good tick index, man. It actually is. The, the, the last, what you had, the last 10 minutes, that's a minus 1580. And we've already had on, let's see, on today's Thursday. That's interesting. So Tuesday, we had the minus, yeah, so, so that's minus 1830. So watch how this goes. The tick index, folks, you have what you need for a shorter term bottom. You don't have it in a trend, not even close, and you don't have a rejection of lower price. And you need all three of them. That's how this thing shakes out. Um, you know, in fact, I want to go back to a tick for one second because I want to see what you want to look for also. I want to make sure there wasn't no huge uptick because when a huge uptick comes in, that is really a bummer. Okay, so great. No, that's just it. No, we don't. It was, yeah, it was 11.15, no big deal. See this one here? This one here, that was, a, what, a week and a half ago at the 17.74? That's a problem, man. That day was the second, okay? So let's just look at this for a second. I'm just curious. So September 2nd, let's find September 2nd. September 2nd, 2nd. Oh, I see. Interesting. That's where it gave it up. So we had a huge uptick there. And that uptick, so when you're in a down market, and if you think that the trend hasn't finished yet, and you see a huge uptick, it's a problem. Because what ends up happening there is that you haven't had the, people have got way too bullish too quick, and when that happens, it almost like it has to reset the clock again, okay, which is just really bizarre. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. Uh, we take a look at the XAU out here, and we don't get the volumes to 8 o'clock at night, but, you know, Newmont finally came off its bottom. So I pulled in, you know, with lighter volume yesterday. I suspect we'll get it today if we look at the dogs. So let's go to Newmont because Newmont is the dog of the sector, basically. And yeah, it still can't. It's not. It's not breaking down, but it already broke down enough. We already went from uh, eighty-six dollars to forty-two. Look at this, man. And you know what's amazing, folks? So let's bring this up for a second because Newmont, you know, was. 
the strongest equity before this downdraft. I mean, Newmont went from a price point of 53 all the way up to 86 and then gave it up. And now, yeah, see this, man? This March of 2020 is just over and over again. And the high of March of 2020 was 48, the low is 33. Newmont thus far has gone to 40. So, you know, now, now what you can do, this gauge, if Newmont can get over 40, 46, then you got some big action because the, the difference there is that came into the bar, rejected the bar, and, and it's going to have lighter volume, but we need a rejection of lower price. Dow down at 203, Nasdaq down 203, S&P's up 53. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 235, NASDAQ down 216, S&P is off uh, 57. Let's go over to the diamonds because uh, it is breaking down. But guess what? The diamonds have uh, a lot lighter volume, you know. So if we take a look at this, a B point on the diamonds is that uh, 310.93. We've hit 309.53, but that B point is 3.3 million. And we're only at 2.4. So that says quite a bit, man. This is going to get intriguing watching this thing shake out, particularly because, see, what we, what we just had here, right, on the way down, is you had the acceleration on the way down. Uh, when I started the program, we were down 40 points in the S&P. We're down 55. And, and let's go ES. When you come down an, an additional 15 like this, and you're stalling right now, that's telling me that we're going to probably get a little bounce here. Because what, what normally happens is that what happened on Tuesday, uh, Monday rather, that when you come down as fast as you come down and 
you break out the lows, which we did, um, 15 points is not a lot in the environment that we're trading in right now. That's what it comes down to. Um, if this thing was going to blow out to the bottom like we did on Monday, right now, today, um, it, it's actually showing. So what it's showing right now is this, is that there's not stops under here. Because see what happens, and I suspect what's going on is that the option market makers are already delta neutral. Because what, so what happened on Monday, folks, okay, they basically got taken to the cleaners uh, in a big way. I mean, you know, I, I know the aspect of, uh, you know, you got everyone speculating, okay, who's on what side. Well, the bottom line is that, uh, and I saw a couple of tigers say that, you know, show that in, in the den, I'll say it. The Wall Street was on the wrong side of that downdraft on, on Monday. And then monster way, and the option market makers were too. And so what ended up happening, as that was going down, the bottom line, they had to sell stock to stay delta neutral. That's what, that's what was happening here. Now, since that's cleaned up, you can see we just did this downdraft, and you don't have follow through on it. And to me, it was too early in the day. It's 3.32. You know, if this, down, if this downdraft had come in at 3.40, and then you only have 20 minutes, it's a whole different ball game. You know, I don't, listen, I don't, I don't expect a big bounce, but I think that was it for the day. Um, and the reason I think that is it's how it broke the low and didn't go like another 40 points. Because that's what it should have done if, in fact, you had those sell orders underneath it. See, so, so what ends up happening is this. If you don't have sell orders, that, that when you're going down, this is how it works going down and going up. If you don't have the sell orders that are underneath the lows when you break them, um, bottom line, the market recognizes it pretty quick. And they say, okay, man, there's no more sellers. There's no more sellers. Those machines are going to start buying again. They go, okay, well, let's see what we can do on the upside. So it's going to be intriguing. There's no doubt. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. So, well, let's look at silver first because what we had on silver is this. Silver, you know, had a sign of strength on Monday when the market got smoked. Um, it's backing down. Um, and, you know, the, the bottom line is that, you know, this is not, the, we, we took off from uh, 1877. We go out of 20 bucks. Right now you're at 1913. Um, if we go to the SLV, which is the, basically the GDX uh, inside of the um, silver market, what you're going to see is that the SLV is trying to close this gap. You know, you get a swing high out here with uh, 30 million, you're backing down with 14. The fill of the gap would be 1739, and right now you're at 1763. So I suspect what you are probably going to get is you're going to fill that gap. The real question is going to be, um, does it get any juice after it fills the gap in order to get to higher price? We go take a look at uh, a few of the big dogs out here. We take a look at Amazon first. Amazon right now. Okay, so they, they, hey, well, we got to watch in a big way, folks. You know, this is, this is going to uh, go after a swing point again. Now, it has light volume, but the bottom line, you got a swing point that's laying there at 123 and you're at 125. Apple, you know, they're swinging Apple around like, wow, man. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, you know, on Monday, Apple was trading at 164 and you're at 151. And you got an ABC structure. Oh, let me see here. One second. 84. Well, you don't have an ABC down because when you did do the pop up, you, you did it with volume. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. So on a weekly, three hundred ninety, three hundred eighty-six. No, you don't have it on a weekly either. What? 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 Apple does have is that that has that high volume low that's hanging out there too. What you do want to do, if you are searching for equities, folks, I'd be searching for, meaning if you want to go long, I'd be searching for equities that have hit the March 2020 lows. And if they've hit them with lighter volume, because as we keep bringing uh, equities up, like uh, A, D, B, E, we'll bring Adobe back up. I'm going to put this on a monthly and I'll show you how this is shaking out because what you're going to see, I suspect what we're going to see is that you're coming into this with a lot lighter volume. So we're coming into the bar. The bar has 199 million, and we've got 148. Oof. That says we're going to do more volume, man. Yeah. 
I mean, we're only halfway through the month. So Adobe could be on the way down to 277. That's the last time it had volume on the way up. Look at this thing, man. This thing. People are going to be working on these charts for a long time, man. <laughs> because what you have in some of these charts um, is that on, on a continual basis, you know, there was no one in the store. And, you know, bottom line, they, they just kept uh, buying and buying and buying. Um, let's go take a look at... Uh, is it H E S? Is that O? Oh. oh, Hess. Okay, H E S. Let's take a look at Hess. So the question is, is it is it an A B C, right? Okay. So the low for the year sixty six. The high is thirty one thirty one. Okay. Okay. So when you look at Hess, now this is this is a cool setup, folks. Okay. So. Well, let me put this here. You just put a little channel line at the top. So watch this. The first high that was established on Hess had 1.6 million shares. You, you hit it to 131, okay? Then, I mean, it just gave it up in spades. It went from 131 all the way down to 90. The next high had volume of 1.7. So the 1.7 is going against your 1.6, all right? Yeah, 1.74 is going against 1.6. So what does that mean? That means that that's a positive, big time. Now look what happened yesterday. You got 2.6 that took out the 1.7. That's going against the 1.6. And then you're backing down here. So that's telling me that Hess wants to break topside. You're down 351. Let me just put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah. You know, this is this is building cause to to break to higher price. That's what it's doing. Now on the daily, it looks like it can come back a little bit more, um, but that's the way that's set up. Well, you always like to see equities futures go into swing points and have an expansion of volume. And if that's what you get, you really get some good action. Um, you know, 131's the high. I think this is going to this is going to try to go after that high once again. So, we'll see where this whole oil market's going. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 218, Nasdaq's off 193, S&P's off 53. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIVC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 214. You get the NASDAQ off 190. S&Ps are off uh, 52. And I got to bring this up, man, because this is like so wild. You know, the, you have the, the governor of Texas. He's been sending, you know, immigrants and migrants, you know, all over the country quite some time. Well, DeSantis, the, co the, the, the governor of uh, Florida, folks, he sent 60 um, migrants today uh, to Chilmark in Martha's Vineyard. And you talk about a, the lucky DNA club. Um, I don't know what the, if he thinks that that, that is going to, you know, hurt these folks. Um, you know, I lived there for a long time, man. I mean, they need... I'm not talking about the migrants that came. They're going to have a, di a dynamite life because the bottom line is that they need help beyond belief. Martha, Martha's Vineyard, you know, they, you know, the, the headlines is it's billionaires and all that. Martha's Vineyard is not Nantucket, folks, okay? Uh, there's so many working people on Martha's Vineyard. Yes, um, out on Chilmark, are there some beautiful places? There absolutely are. But Martha's Vineyard, um, realistically, the people that actually live there, most of them are really hardworking people, you know, people, people come, so they, they need more people. And uh, <laughs> yeah, how do they get them in the bus? What they did, they, 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 they put them in a plane. So it's like, when I saw that this morning, I'm saying to myself, man, you talk about the lucky DNA club, that's the lucky DNA club, folks. That's, that's the real bottom line. So I, I suspect there's going to be plenty of um, jokes and everything else about it, because if they, if they think that, um, you know, that's, that just went from not being bad, and this is my take, okay, to, you know, I would love to, hey, we'd all love to get dropped off in Chilmark, okay? Particularly, you know why right now? So listen right now, you can go out, okay? I, I, used, I used to do this, I'd, I'd go out in the morning, you can catch your fish, you bring it back, right back and, you know, eat it for breakfast. Because right now, so what you have right now, the, the migration starts, Probably in about four or five, not even longer than that, even about 10 weeks, okay? So right now, there's so many fish there, it's unbelievable. And then, of course, what they do do, they're going to go from north to south. But right now, if you've ever seen the, um, the perfect storm, that, that's what Chilmark is. Chilmark is the, is the very tip of Martha's Vineyard. There's a lot of farmland, there's not a lot of people. Um, but you, you make that turn, and then you are in deep, deep water. So and we'll see where it shakes out, but... Market-wise out here, this is going to get interesting. So that was a little bounce. There, there, was, there wasn't enough to basically get that down. Now, two different things end up happening that we, that we just found out in, in the marketplace here, okay? You know, what you have is that there's not a lot of sales under, in the S&P, under, uh, under the NQs of that 12,009. You know, we broke that. We got. We went down to uh, the eleven thousand nine thirty-seven. But that's you know, there's just not a lot of sales there, man. You know, you can see the first bar they got got it going. First bar was nineteen thousand. The low bar was fourteen thousand. If we go into the S and P, we take a look at the S and P. What you have with the S and P? 
Okay, so in the S&P, the number is 3903. Oh, look at it, right, we're right back to 3903. You broke 3903, you had volume at the 3903, and then all of a sudden, at the, uh, well, the first, the first down was 77,000 contracts, the next one was 48. It's unbelievable. And listen, to go, I want to go back to this migrant deal again for a sec, because that, cause it was applicable. I was thinking of my father today, right? And the reason, I think of him all the time, anyway, but what happened is that, you know, the whole railroad deal. My father was the general chairman of the New Haven Railroad signalmen. So what the signalmen were, folks, is this, is that all the signals that we see, you know, okay, when you go, now I'm talking about the 1950s, okay, but the bottom line is that they would walk the tracks and fix these signals, right? So now picture it. I, I, we're still talking, uh, well, I know what his pay was in 19, because I remember when it went over. So, so let's just say 1955, 57, because I actually brought me down. I had a maid. I walked the tracks with him, right? So picture this. That's when, so where it was, it was, my father's mother and father that came from Ireland, okay? So I'm the, he'd be the first, I'd be the second generation, okay? And of course, what ended up happening there, the Irish were supposed to wreck everything. Irish need not apply to all that. But I just want to give you a, a heads up on the, on the pay structure. Because I was at some of these meetings and you know, yeah, they were rambunctious, man. They were crazy, okay? And the reason they were crazy is that they weren't paying anyone anything, okay? My father used to make like, I remember, well, it went from 6,500, got a little bit higher, and I remember the first year was 10,000. Um, my point is that, guess what? Uh, the, the bottom line is that workers should get paid for what they're doing. And in particular, um, you know, when you're talking about economies and you're talking about how folks earn and get their money, okay, um, that is not only important you know, for communities, it's important for the country. And what has happened in really the last 20 years is that and this is where the, the this is where the biggest revolt should really come from. The revolt should be the aspect, and this is freaking Wall Street and the banks, okay? That how can a CEO in that executive suite make like a hundred and two hundred times what the work is making? That doesn't even make any sense, man. And this, that, I'm not talking socialism. That doesn't even make any sense. I haven't, you know, seen anyone that really is, that deserves that kind of bread. It's, it's not even close. But what has happened, and I remember when it first started, because we were talking about it on the air, it's like, wow, man, they're, now they're making 20 times. Now they're making 30 times. Now they're making 40 times. Now you're talking about in the thousands, well, yes, yeah, some, some companies in the thousands. And, you know, it hasn't gotten any better. And I don't know if it will. But that's where uh, the only time that it can get better is when, you know, transportation companies in particular, um, they can stop the economy. And they should. That's my take on it. 877-927-6648. Let's go uh, take a look. So you got that little bounce going. Uh, the SPY didn't get down to the, the B point. We take a look at this B point. It was, it was trying to get there, man. The, it, the SPY hit uh, 388.78. The B point on there is 388.42. And uh, you're at 389.93 right now. So you got, they got the bounce going. Let's go look at the IWM because the IWM, this is the small caps. The way the small caps are set up right now um, is that this, this could also, this, has, this could be actually uh, ABC down inside an ABC down. So when you, ha when you see something like this, I would, whether you're trading it or not, I would keep it on your radar. The reason I would keep it on your radar is that if it doesn't have the volume, when it's going after the B point, that's going to tell you quite a bit. So the cool thing is here, folks, when you, when you look at these ABCs, they give you a lot of information, specifically how much power is on the way down how much power is on the way up. And now you can see this S&P is really going. So this is really intriguing, man. This is gonna be intriguing for tomorrow, man. Because, because there wasn't so many sales underneath it, it's like, you know, anyone that's been out here a while, okay, there's no more buy, there's no more sell. It's like, hey man, let's buy, let's see what we can do. Let's drive this thing up. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Now you get the uh, Dow down 158, NASDAQ off 162, S&P's off 44, we'll come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's down 165. You get the NASDAQ off 166. S&P's down 45. Man, I'm telling you, thank God we're not uh, using pesos in Argentina because here they go again. Uh, Argentina inflation, folks, is running at 100%. Um, they're going to push their interest rate to 75%. But guess what? It's, I mean, that's, that's, that's unbelievable, man. I mean, I, I suspect, I don't know why the dollar is so strong. I mean, just think about that for a second. It's like, you know, all around the world, why would you have your, your money in their currencies when, you know, the bottom line, you could, you could, you, you could, Use that for whatever you're having, but you know you can get dollars, and you know the bottom line. Could you imagine how rich you are right now in Argentina if you basically started back? Let me just pull this up. I got to see this because this just came across. I thought. Well, isn't Argentina peso too? Let's see. I got everything but Argentina up here. You know, well, actually, let's let here. Well, let's go somewhere closer. Let's go to Canada because Canada is getting smoked too. We take a look at Canada. Uh, look at this. Oh man! Wow, you talk about weakness. Um, yeah, well, you get the Canadian dollar is basically at uh, seventy cents to a dollar. Seventy cents. Pull this back. Wow. The weakest it was was going back in. Where's that? Oh, March 2020 was basically 60. But this is this. If this gets right now, when you look at it, it's 132. But you got to reverse that, right? You get a little bit higher, man. If we go to that 121, that means that's going to be 160. And 
if you're looking for you know some nice pads in Canada man <laughs> there you go US dollars going into Canadian dollars yet you're talking about some real action man you know and he's talking about some beautiful places up there and yeah all, all of the above always remember folks the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over and thank god there's always another trade health happiness and prosperity have a great night folks have a safe night come back and visit tommy tomorrow morning kicks us off nine o'clock in the morning great show folks <laughs> look at them folks Building wealth, trading in